Hello and welcome to chapter 9 of the video, video tutorial how to set up an online shop with PHP and Dreamweaver. <coughs> Some of you have asked me how will this look like in the end, how will be the shop administration, etc. So I'm going to show you quite a simple shop administration belonging to a t-shirt shop which is already working for you to see more or less how it looks like. As you can see the design is slightly better, seeing some CSS have been applied. We will do that later too, but basically for you to see here in the clients list for example you can see the list of the clients, we can delete them, check their data, update them, check the orders. I've gone to the last one because the, they are test orders by me. For example in this order here I can see the product, the price, the amount, the size, the total price, shipping price, feature normal, register price, the, the means of payment, the possibility to send a confirming email when the product has been shipped, the budget number, shipping zone. Out of here you can create an invoice etc but that goes to the client's choice. The families management in this case is also very easy as you can see here you have the products list done basically to get a quick view of the product we can modify the product as you can see and not too much more and here you have the extra that you can add the size of the product this would be a sample of, of how to administer in an easy way an online shop which is active and is working so let's go on with the tutorial and what we're going to do if you remember is uh, we have the product and we had even included the pictures but we still couldn't edit or delete that product okay the first thing we're going to do is editing the product so we go to edit and we in, in the font code in links we're going to link a page we haven't created yet but it will be called product edit to do so I copy paste index and I rename it product edit PHP right now this page is a copy of index but from this point we can already link it product edit and the next thing I'm going to do is sending a parameter which will be it's going to be the identification of the product I want to modify bearing in mind they've got a product list here I will modify one of them so I'm going to create a parameter I put here a question mark here and I write record ID equals and here we will add the product identification we don't have to write anything now because if we go to the queries we've got here we take ID product which belongs to the record set record set one which is the product list and I just drag it here so now automatically generates the code you see this is what will happen product set PHP record ID here we will have the number of the product it represents this on one side by now we save this we go to the page let's enlarge it products have it and by now we have here a copy of index so we have to change this to edit product and we delete this line this first thing to modify something is knowing what we have to modify so we're going to make a query sorry if I'm going a little fast but this resembles quite a lot to the category stuff we saw in previous chapters okay record set let's rename this as product data for us to know what we're doing connection issues connection and the data I want to obtain is the product stable but with one condition I just want to obtain the product with the same ID product I'm querying so we click where it already appears here and here we type equal var product and I add this variable name var product name var product integer type default value zero and execution time refers to the parameter I'm sending via get that's what I type after the question mark before so I type get open and close square brackets and inside I type record ID which is the name of the variable I chose in products list I accept and again accept to create a product and edit it, we also had the possibility to link it to a category. So we are going to make a query to the categories. To use it, you will see why. I will name it Query Categories. 
the connection is the one we are using all the time and in categories I want to select it all and order it by description so order by and here ASC we have already explained this many times so I will go a little faster here okay we already have it here next thing we will do is using Dreamweaver then it will make us easier the, the updating of the products so we will insert data objects and the registers and register form assistant we have already done this for the categories but now we will do it for the price shoe connection the table I'm going to use is table product the register we want is obviously data product the product I recovered from the database exclusive key form column is ID product we already explained why it is that and after dating go to products list I like doing this but you can modify it and here we'll remove the ID product because it's the field that identifies its product one by one for the rest they will edit the names so that the labels look fine in status remember it was a menu active inactive we go to menu properties we put active one inactive zero and here it says select value equal to blah 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 this string is telling us that when we open this product and this menu appears the product will appear as active or inactive depending on its status in the database now you will see it it's in the status I accept next thing left is category it will also be an unfold menu we have done this before this will be a menu menu properties and here in by hand as categories may vary through time we're going to make a query to the category database as we did before here in query categories I obtain the labels from string description which is where I obtain the categories as such and the values belong to ID category and the same with select value equal to that I collect from the database will be in category it's uh, let's see okay 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 it's correct so now we accept and the last thing would be the image I'm going to delete this and everything is ready I accept as you can see Dreamweaver has already generated the whole form this left side it has generated a lot of things it has generated an update for the database the product table put me the product names I write in the name here put me here what I write in STR SEO etc here for the image we will use well, we had already done in add product because it will be really handy so the first thing I'm going to do is saving this with Control S and now I'm going to open the file products add and copy paste the code I need to begin with I copy this button and take it to products edit and paste it there and the next thing will be the JavaScript remember me we created the JavaScript for it to open a new window so I select it copy it and in product edit here above h1 I paste it I save it and theoretically if we haven't forgotten anything this will already update the product let's check if it it by opening a new navigator and we type localhost shoes here here's the shoe shop administration let's stretch this a little products list you see with this I can already edit it and here I have a couple of blank products I introduced on purpose later I will explain why I will modify slippers for example edit and you see I have the name slippers positioning slippers price 10 active status I can change the category to one of the existing and the image I've got if I hit upload the image I have to follow the previous procedure to upload it as we saw in chapter 7 and 8 let's do something what I like doing is taking slippers and for example change the name adding a two number price 102 inactive status and in the category boots I update register and you can see here now it has changed the status zero which is inactive we can fix that later if we hit edit again to check that everything is fine again we have a two here 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 inactive boot so the product updates properly in the database the last 
step will be deleting the browser search this is very very easy we come here and we create a new page copy pasting index and I name it products delete what it is and here we type deleting product and down here deleting here we're going to use Dreamweaver to help us do the deletion we save this page and go back to the product list to do exactly what we did before with edit but in this case with delete delete will be linked to the page we have just created product to delete and we will send it by parameter just the same thing we send by edit so we take this code from here to here copy and paste it if there is any syntax error the reviewer will tell me so now we have linked this delete we save it and get back to products delete here I will use the assistant once again so insert data object and there is a section called delete then register we hit it and it tells us check if there is a defined variable we will leave it like that connection issues connection the table from which I want to delete its table product the main key value I want to delete is ID product which is numeric and here it makes it easy it's a URL parameter but what was the parameters name it was record ID and after deleting we will go to product list for example have you got it clear what is this this is the parameter we send from the delete button of the product okay we accept and it generates us a phone code here which basically means delete from the table product where the ID product is the one you sent me by parameter which is this one record ID and once it does it it will jump straight to products list so that if we have a swift navigator and a swift computer and our server is swift as well we won't even see this page because it will be just a, a blink it will load and automatically change to product list I'm going to save and we will check everything is working properly here I will update this page delete has already got a link so I'm going to delete this one for example you see it's been so fast that I didn't even see the deleted product I delete this as well and a sleeper too because I don't want to sell it anymore okay so with it we have already done half of the administration we know how to add categories how to modify products and the next thing will be managing our users or maybe some CSS to fix a uh, little this administration which is a little drab we will use some CSS and we will try to improve its aspect and later we will go on with the shop and the visual part well I hope you like it and for any doubt you know that you can add it down here in the comments or in my blog which is blog.ayzweb.com regards